So I did my five mile challenge today for walking and running. I actually went a little bit over. I went about 7.2 miles and I feel good about it. Um, what I figured out is that you don't have to go to a gym. You just have to find somewhere you can run. It could be a park. It could be a track. I was just visiting my parents for the holidays and running in the backyard. And I ran in the, the college track. Um, did a few miles there. Did a few miles in the backyard. And um, it gave me a chance also to listen to some Spotify. Because I just got Spotify Premiere. And um, so I was listening to everything from Aphex Twin to Megadeth to... I don't know, like, uh, in Spiral Carpets, Echo and the Bunny Men, Stone Roses. Um, and I listened to a couple of songs of Third Eye Blind. I haven't listened to Third Eye Blind in a long time, but I know they didn't have, like, tons of albums or anything. But I was just thinking about, like, how some of their songs are really well-crafted. And I, I like the way... Yeah, just a minute, okay? Um, I like the way they're crafted in it brought me a memory I have of actually meeting Stephen Jenkins at the Oakland airport. Uh, I believe it was the year 1999 it was. Wow, well, a long time ago. Uh, he was on his way to see his girlfriend. At the time it was Charlie Theron, the actress. And uh, I just stopped and talked to him for a few minutes and he was a really, really cool guy. Um, he he had I heard him talking to somebody about the Canterbury Tales or something. He seemed like a very like into you know old old school literature and um anyway uh I talked to him for a little while. I I didn't talk to him that long, but you know, I asked him about like opening up for you too and he was telling me about being on the plane and everything with Bono and some, you know, opening up for Pearl Jam and something about an argument he had that he cleared up later on with Eddie Vedder. And, uh, um, but then something that always stuck in my mind was when I said, I said, uh, yeah, I like your, I like your music. He, he said, thank you. It's my life's work. And he was appreciative. And also another thing that I noticed about Stephen Jenkins was, um, he, I saw him later on. He had a, like a notebook and a pen. He was just sitting I think he was sitting on the floor and just writing. I don't know what he, if he was writing lyrics or what, but I, I mean, I have a feeling he, he might have been working on lyrics, or, but who knows. But I just think it's cool that he was sitting there with a pen and paper and he was polite and um, that always just kind of gave me respect for the guy, you know. Um, anyway, that's my little celebrity story, but... uh it ties in with just having Spotify and going back and listening to stuff that I haven't heard in a long time.